Hey YouTube, uh, this next set, so now I'm going to shift gears here in the next couple of videos I'm going to do. So we were doing Aqua stuff like Aqua Force and Grand Blue last week. So this week is going to be Dragon Empire. So this is going to be my updated Dragon Empire decks. Some of them are like significantly changed, others are just modified slightly for stride format. Um, but today we're actually going to be focusing on the Murakumo because that's the one that a lot of people have been wondering the most about. Um, um, but I also will be featuring updated uh, Overlords, updated Perdition, Seal Dragon, and uh, Dauntless with uh, Dominant Reverse and Novel Vague. That deck also got updated slightly. Um, so, but for today we're going to be focusing on Murakumo. So we're going to quickly go over the deck, and I'm going to explain like the different setups based off of the two vanguards. So obviously you can see I'm running Shirayuki here. Shirayuki, I was always using this card. I think I was using this with the Legion campaign card, the promo that came out back when Legion, back when we were in the Legion format. Um, it was either this or it was the break red, but I can't remember anymore which one it was. I think it was Shirayuki though, um, as the backup. But anyway, so with stride, Shirayuki got a pretty good stride unit in Fighters Collection, which is why I chose Sh Shiryuki over um, any of the other things that they had, like the Break Ride and all that kind of stuff. So I just think this is the best one for right now. Unless you're running the Magatsu Storm, the Legion Revival, that one, that deck is actually pretty good, but I don't have Magatsu Storm from Set 9, so I'm not going to build that deck. I'm not going to worry about that. So today we're going to focus on the one here of Shiryuki. So for Shiryuki, if you open up with Shiryuki, it's not the end of the world. You'll just be able to get this, and then you'll be able to go into your restanding stride and all that stuff. Um, part of the reason why Murakumo is getting a lot of hype and a lot of attention right now is because they have a restanding stride, similar to the Ace, which we'll go into shortly. Next, I'm running for Stealth Rogue Revelation Yasui. He's the best Vanguard if you're trying to build a stride focus deck for Murakumo. Um, so these two are is a great combination. Um, it doesn't matter which one you ride, uh, the the deck will play the same, it'll function just fine, um, just because of the cards. Uh, the only difference is Shiryuki is a little bit harder to clone stuff, so you have to keep that in mind, and that's the reason why the rear guard choice is very important. Um, so that's the grade threes, so four of each. For grade two, I am running four of the new... Stealth Dragon Rune Start. This is the generic GB1. When it's boosted, it gets to clone one of itself. So four is a must-have. It's required for the deck to actually work. Next, four. Stealth Rogue of the Flowered Hat. Fujino. Fujino is also really good. She's she's a pretty good one. There's a, there's a couple other choices you could go with. Um, this one. Nice thing about it is it's not GB1. Um, so keep that in mind. It's really good with the train and with Kagamishi when they when those guys come out because she'll be 11k when you start duplicating it so the ones that attack from the back row will be good um, at hitting the vanguard for 11 so for her and then three Grenjin Grenjin came out a year ago I've been saying this in several videos now but the cards that came out in Brilliant Strike are really good um, in stride format for some reason they just are um, for example the Maidens are really good for Neo Nectar. So three Grenjin, he's your best turn two ride. Um, it would be nice to run a fourth one of him, but it's not necessary. I mean, his effect is V or R. It's not generation limited, all that stuff. So just a really good uh, choice, backup choice to what I'm running. For grade ones, two stride fodder. You only need two. Some people insist on running four. I have no idea why. Maybe if you're not running Shiryuki, you should run a different build completely where you could use four of this, but the grade one space is actually the hardest one to fit everything, so that's why two stride fodder. So if you're on Shiryuki, you're gonna be like throwing away all this stuff as stride fodder. So you've got plenty of stride fodder. Um, next, for Lake Diver. Lake Diver is very important for the restanding stride unit and also really good for Shiryuki because she cannot duplicate things as easily as Yasui can because of his on stride effect. Um, so, yeah, for Lake Diver. At first I was running the Limit Break Enabler, Yuki, Yuna Yuki, but she isn't really needed because Shiryuki's skill is really just only useful in late game anyway. So, yeah, 
or Lake Diver. He's just really important, in my opinion. And another really important grade one is the Stealth Beast Charcoal Fox. Um, the only thing I don't like about Charcoal Fox is he's a GB1. I really don't see the reason why Bushy Road had to limit him to GB1 when Bermuda Triangle has uh, Lulu for duos, and that thing is not limited to anything. You just call Lulu and put 2,000, so... But Charcoal Fox is an important card, just like uh, Fujino um, for a certain stride. So we'll, we'll show the group of the units and based off of what Vanguard shortly here. I just hope this video doesn't get too long. Um, and then the last grade one is the White Heron. This is the unflipped, the new generation perfect guard. Because the deck is too counterblast heavy, um, so this and Fujino are your ways to maintain your counterblast. For grade zeros, Four stands, Stealth, Dragon, Heat, and Scroll. Uh, you can try the six stands, six critical, um, with the, the the other one, the one that you can put into Soul to unflip a damage. Um, I forgot what it's called. I think it's from like set nine or something, um, or set five. But anyway, uh, this thing, Heat and Scroll, because his skill is very useful and he doesn't use Counter Blast and he recycles himself back into the deck as a trigger. So, four stand. And then a critical. So I'm running the uh, Flame of Victory clone that they got in set 9, as well as the other critical they got in set 9. So they actually got two criticals in set 9. So I'm running the Izuna and the Cat Devil. So a critical for Stan. A critical for Stan is actually really good. Um, it's really scary, especially when you triple drive. Um, critical stand critical or stand critical critical or critical critical stand or something like that it's just really good <laughs> uh, it's just so good against purple guards anyway for um heal trigger and then the starter is uh chain sickle stealth rogue onifundu a lot of people run like two of this i don't know why i need the stride fodder so i'm not gonna run 13 grade ones um, and Onifundo is just really good as a, as being bounced back, clone something, uh, and it becomes a 10k shield. So it's a really good star. I like it a lot. The only thing about it is it's a GB1. So it can be killed off pretty easily by decks that like to retire or sent back to the deck, like if it's up against Gear Chronicle. So Onifundo, best starter, otherwise great researcher. So, first stride. Two... Cosmic Snowfall Shiryuki. You only need two because you won't stride this more than twice. Um, there'll be other things you need to get out besides this. Nice thing about it, it's from Fyros Collection and you do not need, it's one of the units you do not need to unflip one. So literally two of this is the equivalent to having four of something like this guy, for example. So next I am running two Ambush, Demon, Stale Dragon, Homaru, Raider. Uh, Ho Homura Raider is the restanding stride. Just like the ace, he loses triple drive, he goes to twin drive um, when you activate his effect. It's a main phase effect. So you counter blast two, very heavy counter blast cost. You have to unflip one of him. So as you can see, I can only do it once per turn or once per game because uh, I'm only running two. But the effect is, the, the conditions to set it up is pretty hard to do. Um, the cards that help are Yasui, his on strike skill, Rune Star, um, and the grade one, well, actually, Heat and Scroll also does help for grade zero. And where's the grade one? And Lake Diver. So these are the main cards that help the restand. So that's the reason why, in my opinion, these are like must run cards. Like, you gotta run Yasui. Or, I mean, if you don't run Yasui, if you're sitting on Shiryuki, you gotta run Lake Diver. So Lake Diver is required for Shiryuki, in my opinion. And then Rune Star, Heat and Scroll are just really good at helping be able to do that restand. So it is kind of conditional. That's why I only am running two of it for right now. Um, I may bump it up to four so I can do it twice. But it's like I said, it's really hard to do. Um, it's not super hard, but it's just not as consistent as people think it is. And that's the reason why it's not that expensive. Um, next, I am running the two. Ushimitsu Train, this is their rare stride unit. It's just a good first stride or third stride, in my opinion, if you're on Yasui. Um, it works with, Sh with Shiryuki just fine. Um, it's just one of those generic when it hits, you get to clone something. You get to call two more copies of that thing. So, And then they go back to the bottom of the deck. So 
at the end of the turn. So pretty good stride. Okay, and then uh, the last one is probably one of their best ones in my opinion. So this is the double R from Fighters Collection. Ambush Demon Ro Stealth Rogue Kagami Kagami Shi Kagami Jishi. This guy is the one that kind of makes him a little bit like Lambros in my opinion. He allows you to get more than your standard three attacks. Um, and he works really well with the stand trigger. Um, because if you check a stand at a critical, it's just really good. So basically what he does is when your unit is placed on R, if you've got more, if you've got two or more of it, of that name, of that unit, you get the, it gets plus 2k and it can attack from the back row. So you can like clone a bunch of Charcoal Fox. So good targets for this guy are Charcoal Fox and Fujino, wherever she is this. These are the best cards for this guy that I'm running. So Charcoal Fox because he hits the field, he gives everyone of the Charcoal Fox, including himself, 2k, so he becomes 9, he's sitting in the back, he's 9. Let's say you have another one, so then all of a sudden uh, he gets two more from this and he can attack from the back. So he's swinging as 11 from the back, you're running stand triggers and criticals, that's a pretty scary combination. And then Fujino, same thing, um, when she hits, she'll unflip, so yeah, and then she gets the 2k also when another one of hers is placed, so same thing. So if you're going into this guy, just keep in mind, it's based off of the rear guards. These, these guys work well together, and then for the restand, leg diver, and the boost thing, the grade 2 work well together. So, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, Shiryuki, I just to explain her briefly. So this one, what it does is, it allows you to clone whatever's in the heart. So if you're on Shiryuki, you'll clone um, Shiryuki. And then if Shiryuki's in the heart, it goes to your hand at the end instead of going back into the deck. Um, so it still works with Yasui if you need to. You can get Yasui, like if Yasui's in the heart, you get him, he, you get their extra attack. Um, you triple whatever, get stand critical or something, he stands up. Um, so then he goes away at the end. That's the only difference. So it's still pretty good. Um, overall, it's probably my favorite Murakumo deck that I've ever played as for in a long time. Because Murakumo has usually been pretty lackluster in terms of their overall effectiveness. Um, but yeah, let me, let, me, let me know what you guys think. Um, and hope you guys enjoyed that deck profile. Um, and stay tuned for more Carpet Vanguard videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.